And I must tell you, in all honesty, my view of what happened last night is not even close to what I'm hearing on Fox News, on MSNBC, uh, on CNN, uh, in the New York Times and the Washington Post. Well, actually, you know, some of the newspaper editorials are getting closer to the way I saw this last night than some of the people on television. Anyway, hi, how are you? Rush Limbaugh, 800-282-2882. If you want to be on the program, the email address is lrushbo at eibnet.com. Let me start out by stating something patently obvious. Maybe put it to you in the form of a question. And, and, and addressing one of the things that I have detected that people on our side are most concerned about outside of, of Candy Crowley, which we'll deal with here in just a second. Libya. Romney had a big opening. He didn't close it. He didn't secure it. He could have said, what are you talking about, terror attack? You blamed a video for two weeks. Didn't say that. Are any of you not going to vote for Mitt Romney because he didn't have something to say at a crucial moment that you wanted him to say? Is somebody going to vote for Barack Obama that wasn't going to because Mitt Romney didn't say you were talking about a video for two weeks? The way people... No, of course not. There weren't any votes lost by Romney last night. And there weren't any votes gained by Obama. Seriously. And so the, the, the whole notion I'm hearing of scoring this thing on points. This isn't a college debate where you lose for technique. Uh, according to some scoring system. This is an entirely different dynamic. And it's one that Obama came nowhere near overcoming. The problem that he had going in is not one that he got anywhere near solving. So I don't understand. I'm, my friends, I want you to, to know something here. I'm not speaking with preferences guiding my comments. And I'm not speaking with hope or, or uh, false promise, whatever. I'm, I'm shooting you straight as best I can. I watched this debate last night, and I saw another halting choppy, staccato-speaking Barack Obama wandering aimlessly, speaking in theory, speaking in lounge, faculty lounge, lizard, theoretical, non-reality. I saw cliché after cliché. I heard liberal cliché after cliché. The first question was some college kid who wants to know about a job, and Obama talks to me about manufacturing jobs. And this is what, I mean, this kid didn't going to college to learn how to weld. He's not going to college to try to come out there and find a manufacturing job. And Obama answers his question that way. Uh, I, I was, th through most of this debate, I was thinking, here's Romney, Mr. Smooth. He is in total command of the facts. He is once again totally decimating Obama's economic performance. Obama, in his closing remarks, was reduced to sounding like me when everybody knows he doesn't believe a word of what he said. He doesn't believe in rugged individualism. He doesn't believe in self-reliance. He doesn't believe in any of those things. Why doesn't that matter when these people start scoring these debates? They, they look at these debates and they score some system that's foreign to me. Uh, style points or any, any number of odd things that are irrelevant in a presidential campaign. But I didn't see Barack Obama dazzling anybody with the defense of his record. I didn't hear Barack Obama talk about his great plans for the future. I heard Barack Obama even at one point say, when I was president, as though it's in the past tense. I saw a nervous, staccatoed speaking, choppy, in fact, everybody talks about how Romney got a raw deal from Candy Crowley, and he did, but it is what it is. There was a point in that debate last night, Catherine and I sitting there watching it, and I was so stunned by what I saw that I hit the pause on the DVR. And I said, do you realize what we just saw here? And what it was, was a full-fledged destruction of the Obama record by Mitt Romney. Every stat you could want. Household income falling, unemployment up, the number of people 
out of the workforce. The number of jobs lost since Obama took office. The number of people totally out of work, 23 million. Every economic statistic that detailed the crumbling aspects of this regime. And Candy Crowley, now on second thought, maybe she did him a favor, did not let Obama respond. She stopped. when She didn't make Romney stop prematurely. He finished, and then she went on to the next question. Now, now that I think about it now, and now that we know what we know, there's no question she was trying to save Obama by making sure he didn't have to deal with that. But the bottom line is, if everybody thinks that Romney had a minor screw-up here because he didn't point out that Obama had been saying it's a video for two weeks, Obama did not have a syllable to say in refutation, in disagreement, with, Ob with Romney's sterling recitation of his failures. There wasn't one retort. There wasn't one reply to it. There wasn't one accusation that Romney had said anything that wasn't true. In fact, the day, today, the day after, the only people who are accused of saying things that are not true are Barack Obama and Candy Crowley, not Mitt Romney. I kid you not, that's the debate I saw. I once again saw an Obama who looked uncomfortable and unprepared and full of, full of and, uh, and, uh, and, oh, and let me, uh, and, and by the way, uh, what I said, and what I mean, it, I didn't see Mr. Smooth. I didn't see Mr. In Command of Facts. I didn't see anybody who was eager to defend his performance and his record. I... I uh, folks, I'm going to apologize to you because I, I simply do not have a recollection or an analysis of what I saw last night that is anywhere close to what I've seen, and I haven't seen it all, uh, to what I saw on television last night. I, I, uh, now, I have some friends, I must admit, we're exchanging emails and texts during the debate, and they're naturally nervous, worried about this detail or that detail, wish Romney would have said that, Candy Crowley is a cheating, lying moderate, all that sort of stuff. But I look at it in a much different way. Romney didn't, there's not one thing he did lose a vote last night. Quite the opposite. I think he picked up even more undecided voters last night, folks. And Obama surely didn't gain any votes out of that Libya exchange. Especially you know, the, the drive-bys continue to forget that what happened last night is now in the ether. And we have a chance now with the new media and, and, and the, the net and everything else to put it all in perspective. It used to be that a lie takes place on television and that goes around the world. Then the next day the correction takes place, which nobody sees. That's out the window now. More people are hearing about Obama's lies and Candy Crowley's lies than saw them apparently get away with it last night. More people are having the truth explained to them today than saw what they thought was the truth last night.